Hello and welcome to this small video demonstration where I'll show you how to read some data from a uh, Modbus slave and to um, publish those data points on a 61850 server. First I'll start by opening the Broxton work suite. I'll then add, add a new project. Modbus master I see 61850 server. First, I'll start by adding the Modbus master to retrieve the data. Then I'll just add the groups of data, call it digital inputs. I'll query those every 200 milliseconds. We'll call them Modbus DI. Yes. Then I'll create the analog input. Two hundred, five hundred, then I'll start by making my model for the C2850 server. I'll add you thirty two M. create a new type. I'll select the generic I.O. And I'll select the then indication I've owed eight of those. Then I'll add that logical mode GTIO. I'll create a data set having that data to publish uh, this uh, and indication and then I'll create an import control for just have one buffet select my data set I'll then go to the Fieldbus configurator and add my 61850 server configuration. Then I'll read the variables from the SL file. So this is my model, yes, and I'll select because I'm going to map those from my Modbus slave. So I'll just select those. Uh, it's an integer, okay. Then I'll go to do the mapping. So I have my RTU32M. And my analog so now I'll just compile that then I'll try and download it to the um, RTU just verify that the Modbus you can see the analog value changing so the Modbus is 
getting the data correctly, I'll change the first digit input, yes. So now we can just verify that the 61850 server is also working. I'll start by opening the built-in 61850 client and I have here the correct IP address, yes. I'll then go online, expand, uh, yes. So I'll just change the, you can see my analog values changing. The first digital input, yes, yes. Try the next one also, on off, yes. So it's working perfectly and nice. So thank you for watching this small video demonstration.